Hi, welcome to the short video on the fundamental concepts for understanding security in ClickView. My name is John Callan. I'm with the product marketing team at ClickTech. This video is part of a series of videos on the topic of security in ClickView. If you haven't already done so, please take a look at the first video entitled Understanding Security in ClickView and Overview and all preceding videos to better prepare you for the topics presented here. It's important to remember that security in ClickView is applied through a combination of document level and server level approaches. In this short video, I want to discuss implementing simple data reduction and distribution using the ClickView server. This server-side product allows an admin to take a single file containing a lot of data and produce multiple data reduced files to provide controlled access to various parts of the data resident in the source file. What you're looking at here on my desktop is the source file. It contains complete sales data and I, as an admin, can have complete access to this file and see all the data. Now what I want to do is use the ClickView server to actually automate the reduction of data such that it can be placed within new documents and so that ultimately different people in the organization can have access to data that is of relevance to their job and their access privileges. So now I will move over and look at the ClickView server. This is the admin interface to the entire server setup called the ClickView Enterprise Management Console. In my source documents tab I have the file which is called sample sales data QVW. Now what I want to do is create a new task which will then break up or reduce this file and create three new files which contain restricted access to different parts of the data set. So on the reduce tab I'll begin to reduce the data. Firstly what I can do is have the server read the document. What this does is a server will open the document behind the scenes and it will display all of the fields within the document. The field that I wish to perform the data reduction on is this region field. Now when I run the task for every unique entry in that field a new file will be created based on that unique entry. So in this particular case in the region field I have three unique entries. I have the central, west and east regions. So I, sh so I should expect that three files will be created containing the data that pertains just to the central, the west and the east regions. Next step is to give each newly created document a unique name. I can do this by selecting the reduction field I'm using so that every new file will contain a unique name associated with the field that I'm reducing the data on. Click OK. So that's the reduction aspect. How do I distribute or who am I going to distribute this data to? Well in this video I'm just going to talk about a very simple manual distribution to a particular ClickView server. In this particular case it's the server I'm currently operating on. I'm going to send it to a mounted folder that I've called temp. And now I choose the users or groups who I'll have access to the new files. These are the NT users or groups that I want to provide authentication to. So once somebody has been authenticated, they can go ahead and access the relevant data. So here I can select which specific users or groups who will access these files, or I can just simply select that all authenticated users can access these files once they have been created. So I'll select all authenticated. I can also include some new metadata in the document info tab. I can also select triggers. These are things I will cover in some later videos. But for now I just want to do a simple reduction and distribution so I'll click apply. That creates the task and you'll see now that the task is listed. I can now go back to my status tab and you'll see the distribute of sample sales data QVW with reductions task listed. I can now initiate that task manually by clicking the small arrowhead. Once I run this task you'll see that the task gets executed. I can now go back to the documents folder and go to the user documents tab and you'll see now under the temp folder that three new files have been created based on the reduction in that task. So let's go back to my desktop and open a browser. My entry point to the ClickView server is through access point. When I type in the URL for my server I'm asked to log in. I'll log in as jdoe. That's somebody that is set up as a user on my server. I'm logging in now through my desktop and you'll see now that I can see all three files that were created by the reduction task. This is because I selected that any authenticated user can see the newly created files. They are named based on the region data and if I click on the west you'll see that now I can only see the data that is associated with the west region in this file and not east and not central. In fact that data does not even exist in this file. Only the data that was associated with the West region has been contained and shown in this file. That's a very quick example of doing very straightforward data reduction and distribution using the server publisher architecture. What you have just seen is a short video looking at simple data reduction and distribution using the ClickView server. This video is part of a series of videos covering security in ClickView and I encourage you to view the other videos in the series to give you a more complete picture of how security is handled in ClickView.
Thank you.